Well, we have the 80 year old young man. Dr. Ron Pinoli. Before he comes up, let me just say a few things. Dr. Ron and us have come a little way. Um, in the year of 2007, 2007, he was, we, we, invite, we, we, we invited him and had an event at the National Stadium, 2007. I'd like you to take a look at that clip at the National Stadium, 2007. 2007 is how many years now? 17 years. At the July 2007 event, after we held that meeting and then held another one in August and then held a final one in September, the government at that time said they won't give the stadium for use again to church, for church activity. So I told the people, as they will not give the stadium for use again, we will build our own stadium. Our own stadium that will be bigger than the, that stadium. And the difference in that one is that our own stadium will have the roof. So that when the rain, for because rain beat us there three times. So that when we have our own event, rain will not beat us. And Ron Kennelly was aware. During the construction, he came here with his children. And I took them up to the gallery and so forth and so on. And here we are in that stadium. So I told him, you are 80 years old. We are together at the other stadium. Come to our own stadium right now. And um, let us have a great time. We traveled with him to Lagos. Were you there in Lagos? Where did we meet? Indoor Sports Hall of National Stadium. We went to the Civic Center, Port Harcourt, and then just went around. And here we are again tonight. Dr. Kenoli is an honorary member of Dunamis International Gospel Center. Yes, yes. We will we'll make you do a, a, a membership class and give you your certificate of membership. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because he has hinted Dr. And Mrs. Becky and Angel. And um, he has also indicated interest to be here as much as possible, even to go to the branch locations. So I told him, I said, all right, we'll work that out. We'll work that out. Um, what else? He has been to over 120 countries, <laughs> ministering and singing all over the world. But they say he hasn't been to any sanctuary like this anywhere in the world. I'm sure he will tell you that. Can we all stand up on our feet and receive the ministry of Dr. Ron Kinoli all the way? When you talk about people that are patriarchs in every realm, there are patriarchs, there are apostles in every realm. Talk about the church planting ministry, gospel ministry, evangelistic ministry. This man is qualified to be called foremost apostle of worship globally. The only person that is of his generation in the forefront of worship will be John Moy. Are, are you hearing what I'm saying here today? They set the pace for worship worldwide. We listen to their worship in universities. It's, it set your climate on fire. Yes. And today we are here to experience that the same way Maurice Cerullo passed here and dropped a patriarchal mantle. Hey! I believe that this is a mantle passing through here that will be here again and again and again. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise as we make progress. He's a great grandfather now. Anointing. Anointing. Follow me, anointing. Follow me. Let the power of the Holy Ghost let it fall on me. 
Father, we thank you. We thank you for your presence in this building tonight, Father. You have manifested your presence. You have touched people's lives. You have turned lives around. You have set people on a new path of spirituality, Father. We thank you. We give you glory and we love you because there's no other God but you. I love you, Lord, for your mercies never fail me all my days. I've been held in your hand from the moment that I wake up till I lay. Of the goodness of God, oh my life. Father gets. The only thing that he gets is our praise and our worship. So lift your hands tonight. Come on, lift your hands. Lift your hands and sing this again. All my life you have been faithful. Lift your hands, my brother. Lift your hands. All my life you have been so I'm able Oh Lord I will sing Of the goodness Of God I will sing Of the goodness Of God Hallelujah Give the Lord a hand clap Oh, come on, give the Lord a hand clap. Show him that you love him. Oh, yeah. All right, all right, all right. 
Now listen, do you love each other? Do you love each other? You didn't say anything. Uh, uh, okay. Do you, do you love each other? You guys love each other? Now listen, that word love is an action word. It has to be demonstrated. And Jesus said the world will know that, that we, the world will know that we love him because we have love for one another. And you can't just think you love somebody. M Mother Becky, is it all right for Pastor Paul to just think he loves you? No, my brother, you, you, got, to, you, you got to get real, sweetheart. I love you. All right? Amen. Well, I want you to demonstrate love for one another tonight. I want you to go to at least three people who are better looking than you and give them a hug. Let no hand go unshaken. Let no face go unsmiled upon. Go ahead and show your love. Hallelujah. Let no hand go unsha unshaken. Let no face go unsmiled upon. This is the day the Lord has made. Let's be glad about it. Let's demonstrate our love. Hallelujah. Be. Be your Come 
Bible says the kingdom of God is not meat or drink, but righteousness, peace, and righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. Come on, man, let's do it. Here we go. So begin to sing with me when you, when you realize what the song is, all right? Go ahead, guys.
Now I know there's more people in here who want to dance than these three ladies. Am I right? Am I right? Hey, my God is good. Oh.
Pastor Paul, Dr. Paul, no, wait, I'm not going to ask you. Uh, Mama Becky, how, how many years married? How many? 30. 30 years. Okay, I want you guys to sit down. Sit down, Mama, sit down. I want you guys to join hands. Because this is a love song. This, this, this is a love song. Now listen, don't go nowhere. We have to remember, listen. The whole New Testament is a love story. It's about a man who has chosen his bride and he's going away to prepare a place for his bride and he's coming back for his bride. Am I right? Am I right? It's a love story. Okay, so if you are sitting next to your spouse, I, I want you to hold her hand. O okay, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, hold her hand. Now, I want you guys, all the guys, all the guys, all the, all the men, all the men, look at your wife. Look at her. Look, look. Bring it down back there. Bring it down. Look at your wife and say in your most romantic voice, I want you to say, I love you, my dear. You are the love of my life. You are the hope that I bring to you. For silver or gold, I wouldn't trade you. I wouldn't trade you for riches untold. You are, you are my everything. you
the devil too long. We're going to tear the devil's kingdom down. What he said was his. Church, those things have been ours all along. Tonight, this morning, we're going to tear the devil's kingdom down. Sing with me. We're going up to the high places. We're going up to the high places. We're going up. We're going up to the high places. We're gonna tear the devil's king down. Church, let's go up. We're going up. We're going up to the high. We're going up to the high place. To the high place. To tear the devil's kingdom down. We've been deceived by the devil too long. We're going to tear the devil's kingdom down. We're going to reclaim everything the devil stole. No, the church today is engaged in a spiritual warfare. It's a battle that goes on between the armies of God and the armies of the devil. And there is no demilitarizing zone. We are on the devil's side or on the Lord's side. How many on the Lord's side tonight? All right, we're looking good. Now listen. We know that Jesus, our Savior, he's, he's, he's completed the ultimate victory by his death, the shedding of blood on the cross. But he's given us a responsibility to keep and maintain those things that he's purchased for us by his blood. Things like righteousness in our homes and, and peace in our communities, righteousness in our government. These are things that the devil has always tried to steal. But as the army of God, we are taking back what the devil stole. Can I get a witness tonight? Hallelujah. But put on the whole armor of God and let's go up to the high places and tear the devil's kingdom down. Are you with me? Are you with me? Come on, are you with me? Oh, 
walk is rain go down. Make the joy go down. Sing the song. Sing about his goodness. From his rain go down. We serve a sovereign God. He made himself available. We can call him up any time. Let's call him up tonight. Are you ready?
the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, his name is Jesus. Jesus! 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 Jesus, 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 Kingdom, 
Hallelujah. 